When I wash my peas, I clean my sink, put fresh water, and dump them in. And you see all this gook in here? I'm going to rinse that out so I can use this for putting the clean peas in. When you run peas through a sheller, this is something you get, is this filmy, slimy stuff that sticks to your hands. I keep a strainer, and I've got it in the other sink. And you can take and do this. I just rinse it in the other side and let it go into the strainer. And I'll do this until I get most of the top clean and get most of this out. And it is a process. It'll take about 15 minutes to wash these peas and get them in here. Okay, I have my peas cleaned. And as you can see, there doesn't look like there's a whole lot of um, husk and stuff left in them. Whatever, when we um, cook them, we'll boil to the top. And if I'm gonna be raw packing these, so when my jar is opened after, when we get ready to cook it to eat it, the filmy stuff will be at the top of the jar and you just pour that off. Here we have our peas from a couple of days ago that I was shelling going to town. I had a half a gallon, so we're going to be raw packing them in jars in a few minutes. I'm gonna thaw these out and we're gonna get started. We've got our peas washed and we're gonna be canning them in jars. We're gonna do quarts and there's two ways to can peas, basically starting out with. Uh, one is hot pack and one is raw pack. I'm gonna be doing the raw pack where I just take my peas, put them in the jars, add salt and add boiling water. If you do the hot pack, you have to take and put your peas in water, in boiling water for three minutes to blanch them. And then you pack them hot into hot jars and add your salt and then your liquid. So we're doing raw pack, not hot pack. And I have my jars ready back here. And as always, I keep the jars hot before I start packing. going to add one teaspoon of salt per quart jar and then just add the peas fresh and you don't want to overfill because you've got to add a little water and it's up to about right there so we have our salt then our peas and now our boiling water you want to bring it up to right here, and I'm going to debubble a little just to make sure that these peas have settled and that the water is to the spot I need it at. And now we're going to wipe the rim, and we're going to line the bowl up, this and this, try to. Put the lid on and it's going to be hot. Always keep a towel handy. Finger tight and it's going in our canner. We have our canner over here ready to go and we're going to fill all these jars. I only had six of these. I thought I had some butter peas but I'm not finding them right off so we're going to do the six of our pink eyed purple hole peas. We're going to turn the pressure canner up. I'm going to put the lid on it and we're going to wait on it to build pressure. As you can see, this just popped up. I've got steam blowing. I'm going to put 10 pounds of pressure on it. When this starts jiggling, I'm going to cut my fire down. My fire. I'm going to cut the stove down to about medium high. And we're going to keep just a tiny, like that, going just a little sound. You don't want it banging real hard because it means you've got too much pressure in your canner. 
So we're going to let this go for about 40 minutes. Our peas have finished. This has went down. They've cooled off. This, there's no steam. Do not take this off if it's still, if you start to do this and you hear steam. Wait until it's totally released the pressure here. Then open and keep it away from you because there's some water and steam going to come out. Not a lot if you waited for the pressure to go off. I usually lay a towel over them for just a second to absorb any water off the lids and you don't want to mash down on them but you just want a little bit of the water off so they don't have water. They'll seal faster. So that's our seven jars of field peas or pink eyed purple holes. You can see they turned a little dark in there and that's what you want. Um, and we'll talk to you later. Thank you guys.